Hi guys! My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of October reading for you all. October 1st through the 15th reading for Gemini. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the card, you all, before I start the video. And the cards that we're using today are the Arcanum Tarot, the Energy Oracle, and the Angel Answer Oracle cards. Sometimes this takes me just a second. Please be patient with me. Sometimes the cards pop right out and sometimes they just don't want to. Sometimes I throw them all over the place. <laughs> uh, having a hard time shuffling today. Well, see what I mean? Bless my heart. There's one. There's the other. Okay. Let's see what we got. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Page of Cups. Make sure they're straight. Six of Cups. Nine of Wands and the Magician. You're clarifying the Ten of Wands, the Wheel card, and the Fool. Wow. Kind of gives me a great feeling already. Angel of Love. Look how pretty. And Yin Yang. Listen to your intuition and wait. What are we waiting on? I guess we'll find out in just a minute. Give me just a minute, okay? All right. Are you guys ready for a change? Are you ready for something different? Because these cards pretty much tell me that something different's coming in. Something exciting, something um, not as boring as it has been in your life, in a good way. Sometimes boring can be good if you're uh, used to too much drama and too much aggravation and things like that. And you're like, I just want my life to be boring for a minute. But sometimes your life can be boring because you just do the same things day after day after day after day. And I almost feel like that that's how you guys are feeling. That like you guys are feeling, you know what, I just need a change. Something needs to change in my life and I'm not quite sure what it is. It's almost like you can't pinpoint it. But here's the good news. Check these cards out, okay? Ten of Wands. We'll go over that in a minute. You guys are doing too much. You're being too um, helpful, possibly. Helping too many people. You're, you're being pulled in too many different directions. And you try to help everybody, and the next thing you know, you're just wearing yourself out. And then you get this Wheel card, and you get this Fool card. A new cycle. A new journey or a new beginning in some ways 
along with this magician right here. You're manifesting something new and exciting in your life. How exciting is that? These are really good feeling cards. A cards that um, that makes me feel like if you are waiting for something new and exciting and different to come into your life, it just might be coming. Give me just a second. I almost feel like for some of you, especially with this Six of Cups, you're reminiscing about the past or a someone from your past or when you were younger or someone that's passed on possibly. Maybe you're th reminiscing about when your kids were young and things like that. Or you're reminiscing about, you know, how you felt 20 years ago versus now, 10 years ago maybe. As, you, as, as we get older and we see ourselves get older and then we think about 10 or 20 years ago, we start thinking, wow, not quite the same. So I'm not sure if this is like a health situation or if this is more like a, a financial situation or just happiness in general when back in the day. When I get this Nine of Wands right beside it, I feel like that he is nourishing he is protecting he is growing something that's important to him something that um an idea a circumstance a situation a relationship a home life a career it can go in all kinds of different directions but it's like he you know this one particular wand he's focused on Almost like he's growing a garden and he's he's babying it and putting it first. So it really gives me a good feeling that there's something in your life that's very, very important to you. And it very well could be your children. Which, of course, if you have children, they are very important to you. It could be family members. It could be someone that's passed on that you just can't seem to, you know, sometimes. Hold on. Let me phrase this the right way. Sometimes when people pass on, not sometimes, you're Mary, bless my heart. When people pass away, you miss them like crazy. And then over the years, you talk to them eventually, occasionally. You think about the things that they did. You think about the things that they said to you. And for some reason, there's certain phrases or certain stories or certain situations that makes you think about them more often. And I feel like that these are, this is one of those times when you're missing someone really, really badly, whether they've passed on or whether they were someone in your life before that you haven't spoken to maybe, that you've been into some kind of a grudge match. I'm not quite sure. It's different for everyone. But then you have this clarity moment. You have this moment of, you know what? Life's too short. I want to pick up the phone and call this person, if possible. And if not, you're going to take these words of this passed on loved one, or these uh, images, or these memories, and you're going to cherish them forever, and you're going to use them in your everyday life. And with that, you're starting to manifest something that's going to make you happy, because you're realizing as we get older that Life's too short not to enjoy yourself, not to have some kind of fun, not to have, be in some kind of maybe a relationship, maybe not for you all. It's, it just depends. But if you're wanting to do something new and exciting and different, like this fool, for instance, acting like a kid again, taking a leap of faith, taking a new journey in your life, doing something different, something that you've wanted to do or something that you've just decided you thought you might want to try, it might be about time to do that. Because I have this wheel card here too, you all. Let me just move these so you can see. This wheel card tells me that this is, it's an ending of a cycle in your life so a new cycle can begin. And cycles are not they don't happen every single day. Some people, it takes them a longer time to complete a cycle and to move into a new cycle. 
So it could be a year, it could be five years, it could be 20 years. And all of a sudden, you're going to end something that you're stuck on or stuck in, like I was saying earlier, the boredom possibly. That part's going to end. So something else, so a new chapter and a new cycle can come into your life. So it's like stepping stones in your life. It's like um, when you were younger, you rented an apartment, but then after you got a good job, maybe got married, you were able to go buy a house. You know, that kind of thing. And that's, that's an example, but you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. It's stepping stones. So that's how I'm feeling with this wheel card. It's almost like with this magician that you guys have, you've been manifesting the things that are important to you in your life. You've been manifesting new and exciting and more positive things. And when you start manifesting that, and when you sp start speaking more positively, and you start bringing these things to life because you're focused on it and you're determined and you're pushing yourself to do it, you start seeing these things materialize right in front of your eyes. They start happening. It starts growing. It starts getting bigger. It starts manifesting itself. So let's say, for instance, you want to move to a totally different state. You want to move to a warmer state. You want to move to a colder state, whatever it is. And you've thought about it for years. And then just one day out of the blue, because you've thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, you're like, I'm moving. So you start telling yourself, I'm going to start saving my money. I'm going to, I'm going to put every penny I can away and I'm going to sell my home and I'm going to move somewhere else. So when you start doing that, you start manifesting and you start saving and you start getting rid of junk in your house because you know you're moving. And the next thing you know, you have enough money to buy that house. You find a perfect house for you and you move. Because you have thought about it, stayed positive about it, focused on it, determination, and, and manifested it, it's coming to life. I hope, I don't, I hope I'm not preaching, because I almost sound like I'm preaching, but I hope that you guys understand that when you stay positive in life in general, and I'm not talking about walking around with a silly grin on your face all the time, but when you're when you have a more positive attitude and more po uh, optimistic versus pessimistic, you actually see things in a happier way. Happier, more optimistic, more positive things happen in your life. Angel of Love. You know, I'm not quite sure if you guys are in a relationship or not. And some of you are and some of you are not. I'm not quite sure if it's even that important to some of you if you're not. But I do believe that with this angel of love, you've got somebody beside you that wants to show you more compassion or give you more compassion. Help you realize that you have, I, w I want to word this the right way, so bear with me for just a minute. Love, loving yourself, loving someone else, loving um, nature, loving what you do, can really give you a, a softer side of things, a more compassionate way of seeing things. And that's how I'm feeling with this angel of love. Some of you, if you're, if you're single and you're wanting to move to a totally different place and you're like, holy crap, how am I going to get, how am I going to get the people to help me do this? How am I going to get the, you know, funds? How am I going to, and you start panicking a little bit because you may not have anyone in your life to help you move. But I have a feeling that you do. You have loved ones in your life that would be more than happy to help you. If you'll ask, that is. And then when I see this yin-yang, and I see this listen to your intuition, 
you guys are um, an air sign. You're always thinking ahead of time. You think logical versus, you know, non-logical, I guess. You're always using your, your brain, and, and that's a fantastic thing. That means you're very intelligent, and you're always looking at everything logically. But then I get this listen to your intuition and this yin-yang, and it almost makes me feel like, you know, sometimes it's your intuition versus your intelligence, and you guys might be fighting with which one you should listen to because you're saying, my gut's telling me to go to move to this place, but then your 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 um, your your mind is saying, "Wait a minute, can we afford it? How are we going to get there?" And and don't get me wrong, it's, that sounds bad when I say it out loud. I'm not thinking it like of it like that, but sometimes you have to go with your gut. Sometimes you have to go with your intuition, and especially when it's telling you to. Especially when your gut's saying, you know what, you don't need to take this road, for instance. You know, one, sometimes I'm driving down the road and I'm like, something hits me just like that. And I'm like, I'm going to go this way. Just because it, it takes longer to get home this way, but I have a bad feeling about this interstate right now. Have you guys ever done that? And when you take that way, you don't know if you've pre if you've prevented yourself from being in an accident or anything, but you feel better about the decision. And that's how I feel about it. Almost like you guys are trying to talk yourself out of doing something that you feel like you should do. And that's where this fool's coming in. That's where this new cycle's coming into your life. That's where this magician, when you guys are manifesting these things, possibly getting a message from someone or this is your emotions your um, an important part of your heart is somewhere else so to speak I believe with this two of Pentacles you're gonna have options you're gonna have um, choices or options or uh, possibly new jobs, possibly new places to live, possibly um, new ideas in general somehow, some way that's going to make you feel a lot better about your decisions. Now I'm not telling everybody, don't, get, don't take this the wrong way, I'm not telling everybody to pick up all your stuff and move across the country. Please don't take that the wrong way. I'm saying that there's something that you guys have been thinking about, that you guys have been wanting to do, and maybe it's moving back to your hometown when I get this card too. And somehow, some way, some reason, you haven't done it yet, but you can't seem to get it off your mind. Now I have this weight over here. And just like I said earlier, you know, maybe there's finances that have to be put in order. Maybe there's, uh, you have to sell your house first. Maybe you have to buy another house. Maybe, you know, so it's not like you can just say today, oh, I'm moving to a totally different place. I'm gonna, you know, leave right now and get there. You, you guys know what I'm saying. You have to take baby steps to get to where you're going. You can't just do it all in one day. So it makes me feel like that you need to wait to possibly save money to figure out the direction you're going, to figure out the job you might be getting, to figure out something, some things that need to be put down first. But it also says listen to your intuition. So if you listen to your intuition, I think you'll make the right choice for you. I really do. And you guys, I know I said about moving somewhere, but this could be as simple as switching jobs, switching careers, talking to someone and sticking up for yourself, um, things like that. It, it doesn't always have to be you moving somewhere different or something like that. It can be something so simple and so minor, but some of you are moving. Some of you are traveling. Some of you want, want to do something completely different with your career, with your um, work life, with your home life, with your circumstances, maybe even going back to school. 
gets me excited for you. Excuse me, excited. <clears throat> Had to take a drink of water as I start choking. But I get excited. Give me just a second, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Okay. Um. I hope this straight, you all. Here's the thing. I've got to make it quick because I've been talking too much. I'm sorry. But here's the thing is I believe some of you guys just work too hard. You do too many people too many favors. And then all of a sudden you're just plumb wore out. You've been pulled in too many different directions with this card. And then with this nine of wands, it's almost like you have something specific that you're nurturing, that you're growing, that you want to take care of or move to for instance or switch careers or go back to school or even children in your life maybe maybe it's your hometown like I said earlier then I have the six of cups and that really makes me feel like you're reminiscing about the past possibly your childhood or maybe your kids maybe that's an issue maybe you're moving back to your kids and maybe this is one of them. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this can also stand for your emotions, your happiness, and your uh, new way of thinking. New way of handling things. He can also stand for a message coming in for some of you. Which could be leading you down to, to your, new, your whole hometown back in the day. Not that I'm saying everybody's moving back to ta hometown. But you understand what I'm saying. Two of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be two choices for you guys, and you're going to be tickled about these choices. This Ace of Swords is like a clarity, a truthful moment for you guys, a new chapter, a new beginning, and a new way of thinking. Then I have this Magician, like you guys have been, you either have been or you're about to start manifesting what's important in your life. Like I was saying earlier, if there's something that you want, stay positive about it, stay focused, stay determined, push yourself to get there, and the next thing you know, you're there, right? Then I have this wheel saying, this is an ending of a cycle, and a new cycle is about to begin. And new cycles can bring so much happiness to you guys, if you'll allow it to. Possibly a new journey in your life. A new, maybe traveling somewhere, moving somewhere different, um, taking this leap of faith, acting like a kid again, taking a risk, something that's going to make you happy instead of everyone else around you possibly. And then I have this wait, so it's not like you can do this tomorrow, but I do believe that if you're wanting it, start manifesting it, start saving for it, whatever it is, start looking into it, to moving forward. And then listen to your intuition. It's not always your intelligence is fantastic, but sometimes your intuition and your mind will go back and forth like this yin-yang. Totally opposites, right? It may not be logical, but your intuition is telling you to do it. So I always believe that your intuition won't steer you wrong. And then this angel of love, it's like you have an angel that is helping you. If you'll ask your angels to help you, guide you, protect you, look out for you in any way possible, they will. And they're wanting to. This is a good reading. This is a good feeling that I have. If you guys are wanting some kind of a change, whether it be small or big, I think now might be the time for you guys to start looking into it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. This is your first half of October reading, October 1st through the 15th reading for Gemini. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.